Welcome back, this is Tradius with some more Miami Dolphins franchise for you. I was out yesterday, I was at a concert, uh, Machine Head and Eminem um, Arth, uh, fantastic bands and a lot of singing right there, so sorry for my voice if that might be a little bit coarse, uh, but apart from that, it was fantastic. <laughs> um, anyhow, we're now in week two, going to be heading into the game against the Arizona Cardinals now, uh, coming off a loss against the Bengals last week. Can't really fault anyone too much uh, playing against a fantastic team that is so well-rounded. Um, yeah, we just, uh, just didn't manage to really uh, play to our strengths and we'll just have to chalk that off and uh, yeah, just do our best to get a win this week. We don't have that much to take care of, but uh, we do have, of course, the weekly strategy, the uh, analysis of the Arizona Cardinals roster. We do have two trade offers, one for DeAndre Swift and one for Kendrick Green. I have no intention of trading them, but I'm going to take a look at the offers nonetheless. Uh, so we will start straight away with uh, an, an analysis, there we go, <laughs> of the Arizona Cardinals. The Arizona Cardinals still have Colin Murray as their quarterback, 94 overall, 27 years old. No real reason to get rid of him, to be honest, with a superstar death trade. Looking very, very, very good. And it's going to be another tough game this week. They do have Richard Gonzalez in there, who is a rookie out of San Diego State. High throw power, but not much more apart from that. And Brandon Armstrong is also in the quarterback room. The halfback room, James Conner is the starting halfback. Then Donovan Edwards, Keontae Ingram and Jamal Rhodes. So two rookies. Gonna take a look at James Conner. He is uh, actually looking quite balanced here. Despite only being an 83 overall, uh, he was with Arizona. Uh, also in the last season, Donovan Edwards is a rookie, 74 overall, hidden death trade out of Michigan. Uh, looking quite good, to be honest. Fullback is Kareep Lasingame, who joined them. I think he was not with them initially. Yeah, I was with the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, he is now with, uh, with the Arizona Cardinals here. Very quick fullback. All right, let's take a look here next up. Wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins, still with the team. 32 years old, 94 overall. Uh, he is a mentor and a trade target veteran. He did lose the superstar. He's only a star now. That's still very, very good. It didn't really go down anywhere too much. A little bit of regression there, but actually not as bad considering his age. Rondell Moore is uh, also at the Cardinals. He is still there, fourth year in a row, uh, crushing 1,000 yards in the last season. So that was an interesting one. Curtis Samuel, I think they snapped him up uh, in free agency. Yeah, he was with the Washington Commanders before. He's now an Arizona Cardinal, Quintus Cephas. I do think that he was also in that free agents pool. Yeah, he was with the Detroit Lions. He's now with the Cardinals this season. And finally, Ja'Cory Brooks. This was actually a player that uh, the general manager suggested to us. There we go, start if trade. Hmm, interesting, very interesting. But then again, there was no room and I didn't really want to take him. Uh, I think we got a better one with Bo Collins, so there's that. Tight end, Tyler Higby, yeah, he is new to the team as well. Of course, he was with the LA Rams before he was a free agent. And now he is here at the Arizona Cardinals. Trey McBride also there and Carl Carlson. Our rookie Trey McBride was picked in the 2022 draft. The left tackle position, Zion Nelson and Braxton Hines. Zion Nelson, I think he was out of the 2022 draft. High strength rating, high run block power. So looking quite tough. Connor McGovern is the left guard. Marquise Hayes behind him. Connor McGovern, I'm just gonna go through these teams here. He was with the Denver Broncos uh, the season before. 
just want to see how many things have changed here. Rodney Hudson is the center, Danny Huff behind him. I think Rodney Hudson was with Arizona before, yes. Uh, 35 years old, still such a good player. Robert Hunt is now with the Arizona Cardinals. We moved him on, uh, no real space for us, but it's a return for him. And Lucita Smith as well. Was he also with us before? No, he wasn't. All right, next up, right tackle, Broderick Jones and Jaden Moore. Broderick Jones is the starter here. Normal death trade, 24 year old player out of Georgia, 76 overall. Strength, pass block power are good though. So these two do make sense. At defense, we've got Jack Sawyer and Josh Barron. Jack Sawyer is a rookie and he's actually not looking too bad. He does have a normal death trade. The Ohio product, a lot of room for improvement, of course, but quite balanced, actually. Very, very solid as well in the injury rating, so he's not going to be, get injured quickly. Only impact blocking is dragging him down a bit, but everything else, pretty good, actually. So good pick there. Derek Barnett is the right edge player and Morgan Fox behind him. Let's take a look at Derek Barnett. Yeah, he came from the Denver Broncos as well. I do remember seeing quite a few players heading to the Cardinals uh, in free agency. Fletcher Cox, I think, he joined them now as well. Yeah, he was with the Philly Eagles. Uh, Marlon Tupulotu, that is one out of the, out of the later draft, but uh, where did he come from? From the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So a lot of changes here, actually. This is a very, very switched up team. And yeah, there we go. This was a player I was looking at a free agency, Rashan Gary. I would have really liked to bring him into the team, but couldn't afford him. The fourth ranked left outside linebacker. What a player. What a fantastic player. 96 overall with a superstar death trade. Uh, Cameron Thomas is also there and Victor Dimukeje, but uh, Rashan Gary will be the leading linebacker at the left side. Mid linebacker is Zavin Collins and Isaiah Simmons. These two, Zavin Collins, wow, already with the X Factor at age 25. I mean, he did get there as well when I did the rebuild for the cards, but yeesh, and KJ Barrett. So, yeah, we've got these two here, of course, mid linebackers. Right outside linebacker, Will Anderson Jr. Oh, Lord. I think they did pick him in the uh, 2023 draft. It was. That is a tough defensive line. Jesus Christ. Julian Aquara, I think they also snapped him up. Uh, nope, that was not him. Byron Murphy Jr. 26 years old, 88 overall. He was with the Cardinals before CJ Henderson. Was he the same thing? No, he was with the Philly Eagles. He's now new here. So we've got two very good corners actually Jonathan Jones, Brian Branch, Jared Stalworth, free safeties Jalen Thompson and Marcus Murray. Jalen Thompson I think he was there before yeah I do remember some players from that rebuild Buda Baker of course still there I'm a bit surprised that he's not higher rated uh, in terms of dev trade I don't get it he must have pissed someone off at EA but uh, looking at that numbers two rank strong safety 96 overall, I think that should warrant a higher dev trade, but uh, yeah, he's only a star dev. Kicker is Matthew Wright and the punter is Mark Nowak. Okay, so what do we do with that knowledge? We are going to try and convert that, of course, into a useful game plan. Uh, the running game is the suggestion here. I will go with the short pass, though. I think we need to limit Kyle Murray as much as we can. Uh, we're gonna go with the full pads. We're gonna go with the splits here because I see no one to be exceptionally tired on that uh, starting line. The offensive game plan. We are gonna. Oh, we're not gonna start throwing it deep, but it's gonna. It's tough because they those linebackers are really gonna be tough, and I'm unsure what the best course of action would be here, but I think we need to give Bijan Robinson as much help as we can. So 
So let's see. Let's go with the half pads here because they're at 97. Half back core, yeah, backups. That makes sense because Bijan is really tired. Wide receiver is going to be the backups as well. No, let's go with the split here. Tight end split, 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 split. There we go. All right, that's that. And finally, our team profile. What are we going to go for? One interception, that's given 24 points. We're going to go for... Oof, that's going to be a tough game. We're going to win the turnover battle. we got to be optimistic, right? Oh my lord, that's not what I want to see here. Uh, we do have two injuries instantly on offense. One is for DeAndre Swift. And one is for Brown, who is also one of our halfbacks, but I think he's in the practice squad actually, so that's not too bad. What about the other players? Luckily, no injuries, but we're gonna, keep, gonna be missing DeAndre Swift, which isn't ideal. All right, defense is fully fit. We're gonna go over the team quickly later on. Um, before we do the player upgrades, I wanna lock down Nick Bolton. I think he's he really is a very important player for us for the future. Um, he's not that crazy uh, about uh, signing with us, but I will give him a long-term deal. I do think that, they, that, that he's definitely worth the money, and especially in the next few years, we will need him to solidify our, our uh, defensive line. Oh, Jesus, man. I think I'm going to give him a five-year deal. Let's hope he accepts that one. But I uh, don't want to lose him because he's 24 years old and very good already. So he's a major asset for the future. All right, upgrade time. Jackson Carmen, who has an insane strength rating. I wasn't actually aware of that one, but uh, he does have a super high strength rating at 90. I was a little bit underestimating that one. Talia Tagovailoa will get an upgrade now. I'm gonna put that into the improviser. Just keep on plugging in there. Let's hope that we can improve him. To get, it, I'd like to get him to the 80s because that's when uh, quarterbacks start being really decent. Tua will also get an upgrade. We're gonna put that towards. Yeah, let's put that in an improviser as well. Why not? Really like that. He's still here. I would have been bummed if he would have left uh, the team all together and played for a different one but then again he's 80 overall i wouldn't wouldn't have known which team he would have come to so we're gonna upgrade this one next up let's take a look at the trade offers for kendrick green i just want to see what they're offering us mid linebacker center strong safety camp jordan and that's rather strange offers here Sean Hand would be interesting, but he's a bit on the old side, especially compared to Kendrick Green, so we'll not be picking any of these here. I'm gonna decline that. And uh, what about DeAndre Swift? He's super high rated, so he should be getting interesting offers. But uh, Jahan Dotson would be interesting to me, Cole Turner as well, but I don't need Robinson Jr. and I don't need a wide receiver, Gage Schaffer. Nah, now we're gonna stick with Andre, uh, DeAndre Swift. I think, think that he will help us, especially if we suffer an injury or something like that for Bijan. So let me just show you the squad as we're lining up right now. I'm quite happy actually, because we solidified the offensive line here by bringing in Tyler Smith and Netanemuti. Both have super high strength ratings. Netanemuti has 98 strength rating. What he does lack, however, is uh, speed. Speed acceleration agility is super low, so that is what I'm gonna be putting points into, but that 99 strength rating, that is just massive. So he's really he's really a great blocker if he's stationary, but if he needs to switch positions, then it's gonna be bad. I noticed that when I try to set up screens, he's just always a bit late. And Tyler Smith, we snapped him up as a free agent at uh, the beginning of the season and he also has super high strength rating impact blocking run block power he's a little bit quicker 
so that is definitely a plus i don't really know why they uh, why the dallas cowboys dropped him but yeah their loss is my gain so there we go we've got uh, austin jackson we've got jared patterson peter skoronski so that's an offensive line that is getting more solid uh, as time passes but they still need time to progress that much is certain michael mayer here at tight end dj johnson and hunter long uh, the wide receivers are unchanged we do have bo collins in here and we have randall cobb uh, with the mentor tag just think that he can really help us uh, improve quite a bit uh, looking here at the QBs, no change, Talia, of course. Uh, Bijan Robinson is my starting halfback. We did bring in Cordrell Patterson. We've got Salvan Ahmed, and we've got uh, J is James Gunter, Johnny Gunter. There we go. And he's also looking very well around it at the moment. The secondary attributes are abysmal, which is, which is why he's so low. But the primary attributes, he's really not bad. So that is a positive fullback. Uh, we've got a dedicated fullback now. And defense is really shaping up to be very, very nice. Still needs time to improve that much is certain, but we are getting there. Uh, we've got the linebackers, uh, Noah Sewell and, and Odafi away. We've got the mid linebacker, Nick Bolton, who I want to lock down as my future mid linebacker for, for uh, this position here. Uh, we traded Greg Rousseau. We signed Cam Akers as a free agent and then traded him for Greg Rousseau. I'm so happy Greg Rousseau is a machine. And pair him up with Jalen Phillips over here and we've got a really good edge rushing duo. We have good, uh, very good D tackles here. We've got uh, Christian Wilkins and Emmanuel Ogba who I switched from edge rusher to uh, D tackle. So now this, these two are really very solid. Uh, the corners, uh, Malachi Moore and Noah Igbenogni, both on the younger side, so they will be developing further. Jordan Fuller is my starting strong safety. Brandon Jones here behind him. Javon Holland starting free safety. Sheldrick Redwine is his backup. And we've got Nick Needham down here. We've got Javelin Goodry over here. So we're set very well at that position. We've got backups here, Ernest Brown the fourth, Keyshawn Silver, Siaki Ike and here uh, i think it is, is kendrick williams now it's khalil williams a rookie who's luckily a little bit on the cheaper side and then we've got the special teams uh, you can see all these players here jack fox tyler bass um we've got uh, bo collins as the kick return punt return we've got the specialist set here giving Bijan as much play time as possible and we've got the practice squad fully stacked and ready to go. We do have an injury here. Hard Rock Stadium is today's venue as the Miami Dolphins will be facing off against the Arizona Cardinals. Bijan Robinson had a great game last week, 138 rushing yards, one touchdown, despite being confronted with such a tough defense. The Arizona Cardinals, I picked the color rush uniform here, also with a newly designed alternate helmet. And uh, really looking very nice here. I also like our alternate uniforms with these slightly darker jerseys and those stripes. But uh, the whole crowd is not here to see us in our uniforms. It's here to see us win this game and give them a good game. So that's what we're going to try and do here. As our defense manages to hold the Arizona Cardinals here at the 25 yard line. We have to be uh, quite aware of the defensive strength of this team. I would say it's pretty similar to, uh, to the Bengals and uh, with an 87 overall rating, we're really gonna have a hard time against them, especially against those four linebackers that are really just a uh, force force to be reckoned with these four here and then they've got the two two d tackles one of who is uh fletcher cox so at third and inches let's go the halfback gut here i'm gonna go straight up the middle here okay those extra inches go 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 oh we get even more 
Mm, sadly. Would have liked to sort of get around it, but we're up at a 50 now. And Bijan once more doing his thing. I'm actually super happy with him and how he's performing. So we're going to go with this one here. Bo Collins will be the back up here, but I think we're going to I think we're gonna go with this and off we go runner is on the way a lot of space here for Bijan to run into wow well done four rushes 37 yards as we have to switch to an audible here and a lot of space here in the middle which is a very welcome surprise Let's go with this here. Left hand side run. Could we try and break through with a pass? I don't I don't see any space. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, Buddha Baker not allowing even one yard. Would there have been a better route? No. No, it was completely blocked over there. Nah, that's probably bad play calling for my part. Let's see, can we get a power all working? Just need everybody to block as much as they can. Uh, nope, no route opening up. Do I go for pass play? Let's try a slip screen. Not really comfortable with pass plays against this team. With Talia, who doesn't have that many um, buffs going for him yet. Fourth and seven. It's going to be a 52 yard field goal. There we go. Let's be precise here, please. Oh, god damn it. Just as I was saying it. And the Cardinals do what we can't get on the board pretty quickly. What do we have today? We've got the game factors hurry up, no huddle results, and slightly reduced clock runoff and quality turf. Those change direction faster than usual. And we have the incorrect play art, guys. Let's go with this one here. First quarter is coming to an end now. And we have been very unproductive. The problem is that if we don't get good results, um, this usually means that we run into problems with uh, debuffs that start working here. Yes, uh, and those will further uh, drag our performances down make it difficult to sort of break break this negative momentum we're gonna try a halfback stretch now a left hand side run do i dare go for an audible here on the go no no i don't all right well done bijan i mean again it takes three players to stop him but we get the first down. We move down the field. There we go. We're gonna try this one here. We've got uh, Collins and Chase. Oh my god! Why was that so imprecise? Although, was it though? Or was it Bo Collins? That was a bit weird. Let's see. Uh, I think it, it's slightly overthrown when you look at it from here. Well, actually, no. All he would have had to do was jump. Third and 
third and two. Third and two. We're going to go with a halfback dive now. And I just want to get this momentum away because this is really, really annoying. Displaying the wrong play art. As we push forward here for first down. At the 40 now. Three minutes and 11 to be played. Should be able to break through here. They are setting up for a pass play with lots of space. Can we get though? We can't really break through completely, but we get very far. 16 yards on that run. And please let's get this momentum away. There we go. Alright. Play art is displayed correctly again. Whew. Just shed that tackle very quickly. Without even a doubt. Alright, so let's try this screen here. I mean, we could... Can we get... If we could get Zayvon Bo Collins. Ah, I took too long on that one. Second and seven. Let's try this one. Maybe we maybe we get lucky. No, they have adapted. They have adapted now. Very tight setup here. We could go with Jamar Chase. I just feel like he's not gonna be free. Mm. Third and seven. Let's go for a seam divide here. And again, it is displayed wrongly. PA post. Hmm. We're gonna try this one. We're gonna try this one. And I will look for Collins. I will not look for Collins because I'm taken down so quickly that there is no time to do anything else but just say, oh Jesus. Slightly to the right. That is a good kick. That is a good kick right there. Well done. Can we hold them, please? Stop them. All right, so here we go. And now we have another chance in the second quarter. 51 seconds remaining. It's not a lot. Let's see if we can break them down. I have a strong feeling that it might prove to be difficult, but we're gonna try and get this. Good catch here, taken down first and 10, now second and three. Here we go, 42 seconds, 40 seconds. All right, let's see, let's go with an empty vertical here. We don't have that much time left, but can we maybe get going here? And off we go, come on guys, go, 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 go. Get the freaking ball away. That would have been funny, actually. We've got to call a timeout now. I would really like to tie the game in the first quarter. But we have 10 seconds. We've got three yards to cover. I'm going to go with this. Let's set up for a run play. And let us change into... Let's get going here with, a, uh, with the four verticals, maybe. That's Mayer. We should get ready over there. All right, stopped. Timeout called. Three seconds. What do we do here? I mean, we are a bit too far back, so basically only Hail Marys. Shot safe clock. Yeah, these Hail Marys hardly ever work. 
won't be going for a very deep pass because those are quite useless as well but of course they can anticipate what we want to do that is not great did I just get flagged I pressed X at the one second, so never mind. Never mind. We're not going to draw the game in the first half, which is not too satisfying, but we're going to 100% rate going for the short pass. Let's return it right. That is Bo Collins, who is my kick returner. Here we go. Ball is live. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm not quite sure how to best uh, get going on these kick returns because I have a strong feeling that sometimes uh, if we do get uh, into a good area, we swarm very quickly. It doesn't really matter that much which side you go for. So... Could be that it's only my um, my view on this, but let's go to play action read here. Let's not, let's not mess this up. Here we go. Play action read. Yeah, smacked away here. No chance for Bijan. He was covered all the way, which is not great. Let's go to the halfback zone weak here. Let's try and break through. Stretching for the extra yard, third and five. Zevin Collins picks up an injury. That's a little bit of a relief since he's a superstar X factor on that defense. We're gonna go with the halfback slip screen now. I think I think this is a good choice. But it always depends how how well that screen starts working. All right, this was a very good choice. Ah, oh, sadly, couldn't couldn't really go for the, the juke move. Try to step to the side, but we push forward to the 49. Really, really moving those chains, and that worked extremely well. Let's just take a quick look at this one here. Sort of breaking through, going blocking slightly, and then the ball is in the way. And that is such an important tackle by number 59. I think that's Netani Muti. Sort of shoves the player away and that was the opening. That was the true opening I needed. Couldn't really get too far here. But it doesn't matter. Do I have a play that's focused on the right side here? Let's go with this one. Looking for Mayer here. <sighs> tried to get the ball away but uh, the offensive line crumbling so quickly that there was hardly any chance to really get there too happy with these here and that was not gonna work third and 16 oh. let's, go with it. let's set up like this here but I am looking for a better audible here I do want to get a slant over there I'm looking for Peach and Robinson maybe The runner was there, we were there, but uh, didn't get it done. Fourth and 16, that is too far to go for a play. And at the moment we are really, we're not in form. We're not in, in, in the shape I want us to be. 
There we go. At the six. Ball coming down pretty well. And Javelin Gudry putting them there. And the, that was awesome. Such a quick stop here by the defense. We're at the 37. Didn't really lose that much yardage. But we are so close to having full momentum stacked against us. Oh, man. Today's not a good rushing day. Today is not a good rushing day. I would really like to get a player in a good position for once. There's, in my opinion, there's a lot of pass interference going on. It's just really a lot of pass interference going on with the players running ahead of our players. And um, now we have what I wanted to avoid. We've got the wrong play art. We've got it all squiggly. I have to remember who's going to go where. And again, try to get it there, but it's not working. It's not working. There we go. Let's try and get that field goal here. Slightly to the right, but... Luckily, the kick is good. We're down four points. So our defense needs to hold them once more. And I know it's asking a lot. Hold them. Yes. Oof, that was a close one. And now, fourth quarter. Four minutes, 58. Momentum fully stacked against us. We are the home team. And we're having such a hard time. Get away from me. Get away from me. There we go. First down. But that defense is really very tough to break down. I don't know if you can see it or, or if you can sort of feel what I mean, but it is really extremely, extremely tough because each and every position is covered so well. Let's go an inside zone here. Wrong play art and squiggly. Definitely not helpful. Close them down. There we go. Well done, Bijan. Well done. We're pushing up to the 48 now. We're four points down with four minutes to go. We're going to keep running. We're going to keep running the ball because I think that is the right way to go. Could I go? Can I go for one of these? Let's try this one here. Fake out. Oh, come on, Bijan! All right, I'm just going to show you that. This is so stupid. This is where I could really lose my cool. So we fake it out, then we get stuck on our own player. And that costs us. That costs these seconds because right now he should be over there. And he would have a free area to move into. He would be, I don't know, following his momentum. He would be just to follow this along maybe here now. Maybe, maybe a little bit up here, somewhere here. But he gets there a little bit late. His route is sort of straight outside. He's not going forward anymore. And that's a one yard gain. That's pretty useless because we need, we need a touchdown. We need to really push forward here to get this going. Just get away from me, man. Fletcher Cox, Jesus Christ. Catching up so quickly. Just sort of shedding the player he was initially wrestling with. Let's go with a stick. I'm gonna go with a waddle here. Fourth and three. Fourth and three. And the coverage is just so good. It really, really is uh, it's such an uphill battle here. Thank you. 
Can we please not throw a pick? Jesus Christ, man. And once more, just into the run of the play. Uh, and that's the game out of the window. Here we go, here we go. Man, sometimes, you know, I, I try, I try to see these things positive. I try to sort of see it as a challenge, but sometimes it's just stacked so hard against us. It just doesn't feel like it's a fair challenge, you know? We can't connect with the targets. Every player of mine feels slow and sluggish. We call it play art. We we are the home team, you know. We should be the the dominant team here. Third and one. Clock is running down. We need two touchdowns at least. And I doubt that we're gonna hold them. Get through there, man. Yeah. I have to tell you, this is a game, I'm sorry to say this, but this is a game that I'm not enjoying. It just doesn't feel, just doesn't feel like it is really a fair contest at the moment. And I appreciate that there's different teams, different skill levels and all that. Do you see that? I mean, yeah, he was in coverage, but Come on, man. I didn't, I didn't pick a player that was bad. I went with a player that was very good, actually. Nope. No telling out of that one. And even my English is failing me. And now I would have Jamar Chase. Because this is a good play for him. But I just know that those players, they're going to bum rush me. And there we go. There we go. Isaiah Simmons just comes around the edge here. Oh, fourth and 15. We need to go for a play. Doesn't really matter what we do because the coverage is going to be insane. I already know that. But we can only go for the long plays here. And where is that going? Where is that one going? Not where I want it to go. And this is a really, really weak game by the whole team. But then again, we are matched up against a vastly, vastly superior defense here. They had an answer to everything we tried. And today, this feels... doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel good. Here we go. 42% completion rate, one interception. That was so deadly. It was just at the moment when we were starting to move forward. Not 21 attempts, nine completions. I think that just says a lot. We were just shut down completely. I mean, 115 yards for Bijan, but that's more or more or less standard procedure. Couldn't really get going. On the receiving side, Bijan Robbins with 34 yards was the best receiver. Michael Mayer had an abysmal game, 24 yards. DJ Johnson, Jalen Waddle couldn't even get any of the other routes going. Uh, Sacks allowed, Austin Jackson, Zion Nelson, Rodney Hudson. Pancakes by Tyler Smith, Natana Muti. Jalen Thompson, seven tackles. Will Anderson, five. CJ Henderson, Jonathan Jones, Isaiah Simmons. Jevon Holland is our first player in here. Four tackles, tackles for loss, Fletcher Cox, Rashawn Gary, Will Anderson, Buda Baker, and Isaiah Simmons. Five sacks. Rashawn Gary, one for Greg Rousseau, Will Anderson, Isaiah Simmons, one for Emmanuel Ogba. Finally, one reception for Jonathan Jones. Jesus Christ, man. This game felt like an uphill battle from the beginning. Pass deflections, just look at that. Two for Murray, 
Moorhead won, Murphy Jr. won, Buda Baker, Jonathan Jones. First fumbles, luckily zero. So that was good. Zero safeties. And one touchdown here for Jonathan Jones on that return. And in the end, that cost us because that was just about the time when we when we were starting to be a bit better. And uh, uh, this was it, basically. Well, that returned interception. The coverage was just too good. Oh, guys. What a bad start, really. What a bad start to the season. I'm not, not happy. I thought that we had improved the team to a point where we could really trade blows with other teams and looking at us we i mean we are not that bad their offense 87 versus their 87 offense uh, defense but they were just across the board i felt like they were just superior at each and every move uh they blocked the running they 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 intercepted the passing there was just hardly any space to be found for our wide receivers a bit frustrating a game where you always have the feeling that you're never really never really putting any pressure on them that's just not fun so yeah with that we're gonna pack it up uh, for this episode uh, i do hope that we can get in the win column next week uh with an away game against the jacksonville jaguars uh I, to be honest i didn't enjoy this game it was really really a drag um but um i hope you enjoyed watching me watching the team battle and uh yeah thank you for watching guys drop me a like and subscribe that helps me a lot and as always thanks for watching and see you